Finn, great to see you. Clean sheet to start the season. How pleasing was it to, uh, to walk off with, uh, with that clean sheet intact on the weekend? It's, it's, a, it's a good feeling for sure, you know. Um, it was a tough game and a tough heat, um, but the boys, the whole team, ground out, got the 0-0 result. A point away from Combank is usually a good result, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough place to go. So, although we would have liked to create more and, and get a few goals, it's, it's good that we come away with a clean sheet and, and that secured us the, the point. Tell us a bit about the defensive setup this year under Chiefy and, and, and what, uh, I guess, the, the key messages he's giving you are about, you know, making sure the goal stays intact and you keep enough clean sheets. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a lot about how our defending is a, is a team is a team effort. You know, everyone has has their roles, but also everyone knows each other's roles. So we know if we have to fill in for someone else, then we know what we have to do and and the structure we have within that. And then we've also been doing a lot of work with with Adam Griffiths, the, the assistant coach, um, and he's been he's been very switched on with how we're going to defend and certain aspects of that. So yeah, we've learnt a lot from that, and and it, we, I feel. Pretty, pretty good at the moment with how we're defending. Set pieces uh, have been a bit of an Achilles heel for the team in, in previous seasons. I think 16 or 17 on the weekend corners. That is um, mm. happy with the way you defended at set piece time. Yeah, pretty happy overall. I think we we won the majority. I'm, I'm not sure on the stats, but I'm pretty sure we would have won the majority of the first contacts. And and like you say, uh, defending 16 or 17 corners is is pretty can, can be a tough task. And maybe in the past it, it could have let us down a little bit, but. Everyone again. Everyone's really switched on the, the entire team, you know, um, within their roles and what they have to do. So yeah, it's a, it's a team effort, like I say. And in possession of the ball, um, you know, it's, it wasn't unusual to see the ball being passed back and forth across the face of goal. You know, older guys like me, you know, tend to get a bit nervous when that happens. Obviously, yeah. it's part of the modern game. Uh, is that something you work hard on as well? Yeah, for sure. Um, Alex probably alluded to it earlier. Like we want to we want to build up and and play out and. We've, we've done a lot of work on it this pre-season and, and everyone's getting more comfortable each time we practice it. Um, it's definitely something that needs to continue to be worked on. Um, but when we get it right, it, it's special. Like you can see, there was a few goal kicks in that, in that game where you can rip, a, rip opponents apart really mm. by um, drawing them all out and then playing through them. Last season, um, I guess your opportunities were slightly more limited. Uh, how, how challenging a time was that last season when you were, you know, you were obviously training hard, waiting for a chance, and the chance didn't really come? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've said before, I, it, it was it was a tough year. You know, it's something that I hadn't been prepared for because um, you know, coming through the academy, there's always a team that you can play in, whether you're playing with your own age group, or upper age group, or down. You know, there's every every almost every weekend there's a game for you to play, and so, so it was a new challenge for me, and I, like I've like I've said before, I, it was it was tough because I, I thought I was training well and and always applying myself and doing the extra stuff. But like you say, I I, I didn't get as many chances as I would have hoped for. You know, I, I I had a few games, and and some people might say that that was a chance. But um, no, it was it was tough, but it definitely um, men mentally built me up mentally. You know, and. Um, I can only say I'm grateful for it now because I, I think I've learned a lot about myself but also about being a pro and, and what you need to do in the world of football. And do you feel as though now there's an opportunity for you to really stake your claim and be a, a 27 game a season guy for this team, um, you know, alongside say Scotty Wooden and, and central defence? Yeah, I, th I think so. I feel, I feel more confident in myself this year than I have in the last couple of seasons and I feel I feel better physically and I also feel like I've improved um, over those two years so I do feel like I can I can fill that role and, and play a play a decent role within the team you know helping helping towards our, our goals and the way we want to play. And just finally for me there was talk um, you know in the middle of the year about bringing an, an import centre back into the team that hasn't happened um, do you sort of take a little bit of pride in thinking well actually he's had a look at me and doesn't need an import centre back. Um, when I when I heard when I heard about it, it was definitely on my mind a little bit because um, obviously I, I want to play and I, I want to I want to do well and I want to improve and I just want to play games really. Um, so it, was, it, it did play on my mind a little bit. But then when when I found out we weren't bringing one in, yeah, it, it gives me a little bit of a little bit of confidence that, that they have the they have the belief in me that I can I can do the job. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, I'm more focused on myself and, and just being the best that I can be because, that, I mean, that's all you can do, really. That's all you can control. 
Yeah, does it, does it feel a little bit more open, the competition for places this season potentially than compared to last season? Like, there's more opportunities, maybe you're a younger team, does it feel like there's more opportunities spread out through the team and nothing's sort of, everything's open? Um, it's, a, it's a difficult question because I think last season there was, there was a decent amount of rotation within players. Um, maybe not so much for the, for the younger players or, or myself. Um, I think this year we are younger, so that probably does even it out a bit within the within the team and and the the club have said they want to play they want to play young players um, and develop them. So yeah, it does give it a bit more. It gives everyone more of a chance, I guess, to play. But at the same time, um, I think you need to you need to be able to prove that, and you need to prove you can do it. And and if you can do that, then you you can play. Yeah. And how different has the approach been, I guess, compared? Well, for now, Chiefy, like, does it feel a bit different, or is it sort of a continuation? Like, what, what are some differences maybe you've noticed? Um, this is, it is different because you know the different people at the at right. the at the thing. Um, so, it's 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 hard to hard to put into words really. Um, this this environment seems a bit more positive, and and people feel a bit more like they can probably express themselves a little bit more, and and. And that probably comes from the belief within the coach. You um, you have a bit more confidence in yourself, but also within your teammates, and not afraid to make mistakes and that sort of thing. So then, you can actually improve and and work on things. And I mean, you would have ideally loved to have won, but a nil or draw as a defender is a good thing, right? Like, what was what was the feedback from from the coaches, and what was the chat after the game? Yeah, I think I think the the, the staff were very happy with how we defended and and coming away with a clean sheet. I think. Like you say, I'm a defender, so that's that's a good thing to have a clean sheet. But also, it is it is the it is the whole team, and then vice versa. It's the whole team going forward. So yeah, it would have been it, we we could have kept the ball better, I think, and and hopefully scored a couple more goals. But again, that that doesn't come just from the attackers. That comes from the players at the back as well. You know, maybe I misplaced a pass or something like that. That could have led to a goal. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's the whole team thing. Getting a clean sheet, and then and then aiming to score goals. How proud of you of your under-20 teammates as well and academy teammates, and Lucas there at left back and then Finn Conchie coming on at the end as well? Yeah, it's special, you know. Um, I've, I've, known, I've known these boys for, like, for a long time and played with them through various academy teams and then representing New Zealand with them is, has been very special um, at under-20s and, and, and 23s. And so seeing the, seeing the improvement that Lucas has made over the last probably six months has been it's been pretty special to watch you know he's a he's a talented player and if he keeps keeps doing what he's doing and keeps improving keeps working hard then he's got a pretty high ceiling um, and and it's same with Conchi it's, it's been great you know I've I've lived with him in the boarding house when we were at school and so we've we've spent a lot of time together throughout our, throughout growing up um, and yet it was a, it would have been a very special moment for him as well to get on the pitch and um, and, and play in the A League for the first time. And finally, how awesome was it to have AP back behind you? And how much confidence do you have in him when he's between the six? Yeah, a lot of confidence. You know, we've again we've played through the academy together. We've been through some highs and lows, um, both with the first team and with the with the academy. And for me, it's a it's a special connection that we have when we're on the pitch. You know, we understand each other quite well, and um, we we back each other up and hype each other up and. Yeah, I have complete confidence in him whenever he's whenever he's behind me.